and welcome to the Perm Show. I am with Mark Schmidt today. And Mark, we had you on last year. You're back again this year um, to talk about the rib cook-off. Oh yeah, our, uh, our third annual rib cook-off is coming up with the Perm Lions. It'll be in Perm on July 11th. Okay. Um, it's gonna be at Arvig Park. Um, same location that we had last year for the, all those that had attended and uh, for all the cookers, easy to find. Um, we're going to start serving at about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, we have chicken rib contest this year. We added chicken to our event this year. Um, chicken's been popular. We've served it in the past, but we made it part of the competition this year. Cool, cool. Um, this has been, this, this event has gone over so well the last couple years. Um, last year you guys had, was it around 21 cookers? 21 cookers, okay. and uh, we had about 900 people attended our event. So okay, was, great. It was pretty good, other than we had a slight hiccup in the weather for about 20 minutes. Okay. But other than that, it was a beautiful day. Awesome. Um, and as of now, you guys have a lot of cookers that are signed up, but you are still um, open to, if somebody last minute decides they want to join, they sure can do that. Yep. Um, we're up for the last minute cookers. Uh, last year, I took a team in, actually the night before the contest. Um, we don't turn anybody away. We, we like to see people come and have fun and, and enjoy themselves. Sure, sure. Now, um, Mark, let's talk about who provides the meat for this event then? Well, what we do is we go around and we <coughs> we get sponsorships. And, okay. Um, we talk to our businesses and, and people in the community and uh, they help us sponsor this event. And through our sponsorships, um, they help us purchase the meat. Okay, so if you are a cooker, you literally just show up with your grills? Y yep, you show up. Um, we do have an entry fee for each of the competitions. If if you want to do the rib contest, it's it's fifty dollars. If you want to do the chicken contest, it's twenty five dollars. You can do one or both. Um, it's up to up to the cookers. Most guys in the competition, if they come in, they'll do both contests for seventy five dollars. Sure, sure. And there are some fantastic payouts. There are some good payouts. Our first place is six hundred bucks. It's um, one of the largest area area dollar amounts that I've seen being a competitor myself. Um, it's it's pretty good money for, sure. for the area. Sure. And is there there's a first, second, and third prize, right, for right. each competition? Yep. Actually, in our rib category, we're going to pay out the top five this year. Okay. And we're going to give trophies to first, second, and third also. Okay. And then in our chicken category, we're going to pay out the top three, and we're going to do trophies to first and second. Okay. Great. Wonderful. Um, again, it's July 11th down at the Arvig Park. Um, and Mark, you're the one who started this all. Yeah, it, there was talk in Perm about having this started, and uh, finally, you know, they just said, let's pick up the ball. If we're going to do it, let's do it, and uh, assembled the great uh, committee the first year um, and put together a great event that's been, ex you know, a success. Um, been very fortunate with that. Um, hope it continues to be a great success. Love to see over a 1,000 people attend this year. Mm -hmm. That's kind of my goal. Sure. Um but it's great for the community. Um, so if you're in a different community and you're thinking about a great event or a new standalone event in your area, mm -hmm. consider doing a rib cook-off or something like that. Well, everyone likes to eat. <laughs> Try food. We so do. We anything do. Yeah, involved with food usually tends to take off. Um, if people want to come out to this, is there a charge? We don't charge to come to the event. What we charge is everything when you get there is $1. If okay. you want one rib, it's $1. If you want 13 ribs, it's $13. Okay. Um, same with chicken and all the other trimmings and everything that goes with it. Everything is $1. Um, we made the event family friendly. Mm -hmm. um, we do it as a fundraiser to where we can get the whole community involved. Um, and last year we raised seven thousand dollars for Yellow Jacket activities. Wow! And to date, in two years, we've done twelve thousand dollars. Wow, that's so. fantastic! So the proceeds for this event do go towards—is it going towards the Yellow Jackets again this yep, year? Yep, they go okay. to the Yellow Jacket activities. Um, the kids come down and they work our event, and, and it's really good for the community to see the kids out there and, and you know serving and stuff like that and helping. 
um, kind of earning, earning what they're getting and stuff like that. But the kids enjoy it and the staff and the coaches and sure. all those people come down. They just have a great day. Awesome. This is great. Uh, Mark, if someone wants to get in, a whole, in touch with you or if they want to sign up um, to, to cook some ribs or chicken, um, how can they reach you? Well, they can call me on my cell. It's 218-298-2368. Uh, Okay. Or they can go on perm.com. Okay. It'll be in there under the events. Click okay. under the events and it'll be on perm.com. Cook off. Yes, actually, if you go to the calendar, I did see that you can fill out the application right there. So I'm, I'm really excited about this year. We got some pretty big name teams coming into perm. Um, we got uh, Shorty's Barbecue and uh, Not Your Ordinary Grillers. Um, you know, we got teams coming from as far away as Oak Grove to Fargo. Wow. Um, so they come from all over the place, um, Nevis, different areas. So Sure. Um, it's, it's really great to see, and I encourage people to come out, um, come down, look at the cookers, um, talk to the cookers. If you're thinking about getting involved, maybe next year, um, come down, talk to those guys. Um, hopefully come sure. back next year. Absolutely. Last year, I believe it was a couple of Purim guys that... Yep. One, correct? Yep, yep, yep. We had uh, Lucas Johnson, uh, the BP Papacito boys. Uh, they did pretty good down there. Um, actually, the first year they competed. Now, this is this is how things can change from year to year. The first year they competed, 18th place out of 18 teams. Oh. <laughs> Last year they competed first out of 21. Wow. So They changed They changed up their game a little bit. They well, <laughs> you know, I talked to Lucas and he said he practiced just about every week. So Wow. Yeah. And are they going to be there again this year? They will be there. The okay. defending champions will be there. So come Wonderful. on down and see if you can take them off their throne. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Again, it's the um, annual rib cook-off um, Saturday, July 11th at our big park here in Perm. Yep. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thanks so much, Mark. And thank you for joining us. If you would like to be featured on our show, please give me a call at 218-209-0453.